KS Services is now offering preventative maintenance plans as low as $12 a month. Preventative maintenance is so important when it comes to your HVAC system. Let us come check your system out and perform our 22-point inspection. It's better to be safe than sorry. We have so many plans to choose from and special offers that go along with them. Call today for more information. 205-322-9090. Alabama license number 11120. The Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Wednesday, the 6th of February. I'm James Spann. We might flirt with 80 degrees tomorrow, but then we turn much colder on Friday. It's the Weather Roller Coaster Ride. Check it out. There's the upper look. Big trough in the western states is progressive. That will be moving east with time. Around here, we got some breaks in the overcast, uh, the sky, a mixture of clouds and sunshine, and really not much on radar. That was the radar this afternoon at 237, got a few showers over the Tennessee Valley in northeast Alabama, otherwise things are quiet. Yeah, buddy, it's mild. Look at Tuscaloosa and Montgomery, 78, Birmingham at 74. Cold front again between Little Rock and Tulsa. Tulsa 36 in the colder air. Little Rock at 72. And we'll catch that colder air here on Friday. And up north, way below zero. Lewiston, Montana, 10 below zero at 2 o'clock this afternoon. And, man, it's messy up north. Uh, we got winter weather advisories for much of the high plains, the upper Midwest, parts of Minnesota, North Dakota, under a, or South Dakota under a blizzard warning. Flash flood watches for parts of Kentucky, in fact, all of Kentucky, in some of the adjacent states. Winter storm warnings for some of the mountains out in Colorado and Wyoming. And winter weather advisories in the northeast United States. We're thankful we're missing all of that. And also in the midst of all that, I see an ice storm warning for parts of Missouri. And on top of everything else, how about a tornado warning? That was uh, the way the radar looked out of Nashville at 2.40 this afternoon. Uh, at that point, we had a possible tornado southeast of Nashville. That's for parts of DeKalb, Rutherford, Wilson counties in Tennessee. Uh, we do not expect any severe weather in Alabama with this front tomorrow night, despite the warmth. For the rest of today and tonight, got the standard slight risk of severe storms from near Wichita Falls, Texas to Paducah, Kentucky. And that's where that active weather is evolving along the surface boundary. Tomorrow, a risk of severe storms over Arkansas, Missouri, southern Illinois, along the front. But again, the storms should weaken, and we just expect light rain showers in here tomorrow night. And then on day three, which is Friday, we're in cool, stable air. No thunderstorms forecast across the country. Precipitation for the next seven days. Bigger numbers just north of here over parts of Kentucky and Tennessee. The amounts in Alabama vary from two inches over the Tennessee Valley, one inch for Birmingham, under a tenth of an inch down in far south Alabama. So model fans, let's go. This is the GFS. This is the 12Z run valid tomorrow at noon. Upper high over the Gulf. Big trough north and west of the state. The trough going somewhat negative tilt. A surface low is near Chicago. North of the surface low, north and west, will have heavy snow and almost blizzard conditions. Trailing that low will have a line of showers and thunderstorms down through Arkansas and eastern Texas. This is tomorrow night at midnight. A band of weakening showers coming in here. No severe weather, nothing heavy. And Friday will be a different kind of day. And let me just point out, tomorrow we're going to be flirting with 80. How about that? Friday, the high will be only in the upper 40s with a strong north wind. And we'll forecast a gradual clearing sky during the day. Saturday, we start the day down in the 20s. The sky will be sunny, the high in the low 50s. And Sunday, we'll call it partly sunny with a high in the upper 50s. So the weekend looks dry. And then Monday, moisture comes back. We'll have a chance of showers. Really mild day. The high will be in the 60s. Same thing on Tuesday, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers. And Wednesday, a week from today, another good-looking trough approaching, another cold front coming in. And that should be a colder day. We could see falling temperatures, a good chance of rain, probably falling into the 40s if this verifies. Rain, especially Wednesday morning. Let's go out 10 days, Saturday the 16th. The upper ridge begins to build again, trough in the northwest. And again, that looks just nice and quiet and most likely seasonal. Here are the numbers. You can see uh, it's got 74 for us tomorrow. But again, I think we'll be flirting with 80 if the sun breaks out. But Friday... 
We'll be in the 40s all day. Saturday, I'm low 50s most likely, and then another shot of colder air by Wednesday and Thursday of next week, and after that, temperatures are pretty close to seasonal averages. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes of the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.